Geo Pandas data frame. Are we getting single polygon? Is it multiple polygons? If it could be defined a bit better. And the polygon, what, um, okay, if it's a data, Geo Pandas data frame, does the data frame already have a coordinate reference system assigned to it? Or are we going to use the output coordinate reference system as the input as well? Those are my questions. Does okay. it make sense? Y yes, yes. I, I, get, I get the last part. You might um, have to repeat the first part. So for the, for the last part about um, the data that we are getting, if it has a coordinate reference system, um, yes. From my understanding okay. of the data that is stored in the AWS, um, it, the, uh, the coordinate reference system that comes with it is the uh, web Mercator. Uh, that's, um, uh, that's, I think it's called EPSG. Um, I can't remember the name now. I was referring no. to, sorry, sorry for interrupting. I was referring to the inputs to the functions or the methods that we're constructing not for the data that we retrieve from AWS, but we're told that whatever we do, it's supposed to take a data frame that contains a polygon. That polygon, what coordinate reference system is it created with? Because yeah. so I'm not just, mistaken. Yeah. Just to answer that question, if you just search it like GeoJSON geometry coordinate reference system, uh, it tells you basically that the core, all the coordinate systems that are required for the GeoJSON is the WSG, which is basically the global longitude and latitude, uh, WSG 84, that one. And you know, you can refer what that means. So last time I was referring, you know, a lot of this, especially the WSG ones, are a model of the Earth. And that model of theirs was constructed based on what is the sea level. It's like kind of because you want to refer, uh, you know, the shapes and stuff and, and in such a way that coordinate, like all this GPS should work, right? So then they have defined and, you know, you can read about what is WSG84, but that is basically the longitude and latitude you would get in Google, the longitude and latitude you would get from many other systems that be basically GPS coordinate systems. So that is the, what you are expecting. Then from there, to do anything, you have to do the transformation. For example, from there, to specify it, you have to specify, as Abu Bakr said, that the, the Merkar projection that uh, 3DP is using, is kind of, then you have to do some transformation. So that's why the input outputs would be like that. Then there is a reprojection. So once you get that, you want to be able also to reproject it. So that means the outputs in, the, in pedal chains, for example, the output coordinate system could be defined as the reprojection system in such a way that you get that, you get based on a boundary and you reproject and you can transform that kind of geometry after that, you know, as long as you know, and it's usually kept inside the metadata, you know, at what reference frame that, that data is available. But the Georgia said exactly your question is the just the longitude latitude that we usually get from anywhere, and that's a JPS coordinate system. Is that is that uh, what you were asking? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think we have Mikael, we have Christian. Maybe we go Christian and then we we'll go to Mikael. Okay, I have morning. I have one, just one question. Uh, with, the, with the raster data, is it possible to extract uh, a data frame which will which will look like the output as you want? So the raster, so raster is slightly different type of format, right? This is more an image. Um, so it's kind of TIF. So type one T I. Exactly. So TIFF, uh, basically just, yeah. So those are satellite images. They are not points. So you have to distinguish between points that are, which contain, so the, the LiDAR one, it's a point cloud data, which means every point has 
it's it's basically uh, every point has its own property while a tiff data contains a metadata plus an image data that are compressed in a certain form or not compressed um, and which is basically more of a matrix or like you can call it it's a, an image you know image is represented in a different format it could be like z you know kind of compressed format or other formats but to a raster at each point of course because of the coordinate system that in the metadata and because of the boundaries that are defined you will be able to treat it and get the pixel and its coordinate point but in actual fact that that is a transformation you have to do it's not a point data it's not stored in that way it's it's kind of computed out of it so you, you treat raster as more image and uh, while LIDAR, lidar data is much more uh, different one like which is more point cloud different form does that answer is that did i get your question correctly uh yes yes but yes yes can see yes yes yeah so usually you take a tiff data or you convert the lidar data into a tiff data because you want to plot it so for example if you project the point data into a plane a yeah. plane that you defined it based on a certain coordinate system and based on some projection then you create basically an image in that image you store it as um, basically a tiff data or raster data so you can convert that and you can also convert of course a tiff data into a lidar data or like into a point cloud data by projecting each point like by kind of doing some kind of uh, transformation so there are packages that will allow you to convert from uh, raster basically or thief data into a point cloud because anything can be translated into a point cloud it's just that the size will be different because you are now you are saving property metadata at each point while on image you you separate as like there is an image and then the, there is a metadata that's that's associated to it while lidar is much more like a point for each point you have a metadata and then on top of that also you have a metadata for the combination for the whole thing so that's the differences between these different type of data formats okay thank you thank you so much okay michael um on the on the google drive which was shared i noticed they've given a, um, a, a list of the file names which are um on the cloud i wanted to ask how they were able to get the file names sorry sorry i, I didn't get it please come again I, I didn't get your question so in the in the folder that is in the channel yeah. description no yeah. they said they did what yes there is a, a text a text file which has the names of all the file names on the cloud i mean the the uh, the file names which have the uh, lead out data yeah um so we, we have we have that um we i got that based on um, you know when you do ls and then you do aws s3 the um, buckets name you're going to get a list of all the um, files in the folder I mean, in the bucket. So what I did was just I write instead of like printing out all of that um, into the terminal, I just write it into a txt file, and that's the file that you have in the um, folder for week six. Okay. Yeah, you I get? think I have to get, um, <clears throat> contact you. I think I have to get basically. To basically so that, <clears throat> I'll be able to um, see how I can get that. So an, another way just to create it for yourself is basically do this, what is specified in the, um, in the general, it's not in general, the, ex, ex, the data, the data place. So if you go there and there is, it's yes. called AWS CLI. In the AWS CLI, if you type this, if you are in, in, in the AWS machine that you are and in the terminal, then if you just basically do this, you will get what um, Abu Bakr got. And if you want to, to do, 
to save it to a text file, you basically will redirect it as uh, names.txt by just it's called typing. And then you will get that. So if you are in the in the AWS machine, if you just even now type it that, like the second, the first one will return on the screen, and the second one will save it into a file. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Great. Any other questions? I think Milky has a question, but I think he's not here. No, he's he's back. I think I, I see it. Uh, yeah. Okay, not now. Okay, hi guys. Uh, uh, I don't know if any other person is facing it, but uh, when I try to get the data using the pipeline, I'm getting uh, like errors or it couldn't get the data. I don't know. What, what specific errors were you getting? Uh, oh. Come again? What specific error are you getting? Like what's written in terminal when you run the code or how are you defining the pipeline, maybe? Okay, so, so the error, there are different errors for some of the errors I'm seeing, like, like PDAR, uh, readers.tsc could not read from S3, Amazon or something in the full puzzle. Uh, can you share your screen so that we can debug it now? But it most likely also is maybe uh, you have the yeah, or maybe sharing the screen my uh, okay okay so uh, I use this pipeline directly from the blog uh, to check if it's working or not then uh, I okay So uh, this was blog shared for the pipeline, and I copied this Iowa uh, .json file. Then I try to run it on my terminal uh, using this command provided. But uh, either it gets uh, stuck or don't work, or finally it will show a different kind of error, uh, like this. The but can you do that? Can you do that in every machine? I think most likely is because if you're trying to run it from your home, like your PC, it might be internet connection, but the uh, couldn't read from. Oh. I, I think you didn't specify the phone correctly. Can you open the JSON that you are trying to run? Yeah, okay. Can I open? The IO.json that you saved, can you open it? Okay, okay. This is the file. So I just copy pasted it from the code. Uh, I got a Python file to interpolate these uh, things, but uh, right now, currently, when I try to run it on my local machine, it's not working. But I haven't tried it on the AWS. Yeah. yeah. I think it seems to me either it's the PDA version. So if you just do um, go back to your terminal. Okay. Because it's PDA pipeline. Uh, could not read. So if you just, did you install it uh, with git, uh, with um, pep pip? So if you say pip. No, conda. I, I installed it with conda for the. So okay, conda update. Right? I think conda has started sometimes. Oh, conda update, pida. No, just without my. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna connect just up. just because it's it may be a lot more related. I mean, it maybe is up to date, but yeah, maybe just update yes, and it should work fine because I think that there shouldn't be an error. Okay, I will uh, let you know on the rocket chat how it's going. I think it's gonna take a lot of time in here. So okay. another person can. Ask. Yeah, great, but it should work. Because so here are the things. If something works in another place and it doesn't work to you, then just know that okay, they, you know, the world is very stable. 
it must be just something related to the difference between you and the other person that works. Which means in this case, oh, maybe you have a different, maybe that your Python one. So you, debugging becomes like that. You know, what is it that, that is different? Okay. Than so you become logical on that. So that's good, good case that, um, that illustrates how to debug something. Okay, so do you recommend me to use it on my local machine, or should I use? The I AWS think it's, it's, I mean, you guys, you would be better off elements you start using AWS because we are also paying for it. I have an interest that you use, but not only that, because the challenge that you would experience in using AWS is what you would experience in a real job. In a real job, they don't allow you to use your your computer but because the thing is, there are so many data that you cannot copy to your computer, not only that security wise, you know, you they don't want you to do on your computer. Right? So you must work on a frames of time. So any experience in struggling and, and fixing that is also a big lesson. So I will always recommend unless of course if it is just because of your internet, you are it's it's making you you know lag behind. In that case there's no excuse. So you should use your, your computer. But I would say we're not just only giving you um, the database to make you just, I don't know, to extend only, but it's also because no one that you're gonna work now allow you to work on your computer. Because what if it's stolen, you know, uh, what the data privacy and all that, some things becomes important. So, so you must learn and know and be fluent in using, you know, systems like that are in the cloud. So for that also, just purely out of that, but also on top of that, internet one is you'll be faster, you don't wait. Um, and you're not gonna compromise your work. Now you're not gonna download many things, which means that you're comprom compromising your work. The quality of your work is not gonna be as much. And those are like, yeah, at work environment, that's basically, you know, no one allows you to do that. Like you can't compromise uh, because of the limitation of computation, especially if they provide it. So I'll choose those kind of reason. I would recommend people to to spend like this is probably the week that you'll use. The next ones you're gonna use them in the computer. So these are the opportunities that you have to really get along and start using system, break systems. If you can't break the system, then that means you are not using them. Okay. Okay. Any question? Abu Bakr is doing so well, and I'm happy how he, he handled it. So I, I'm doing it back to Abu Bakr. So Abu Bakr take over. Christian, go ahead. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I would like also to know with the pipeline, is it also possible to, to get a, a CSV file or maybe? The test file, uncle. Whether than a, a, a TIFF file or a LACE file. You you want to get a CSV file from a TIFF file? Is that the question? No, the the output of the, of the pipeline. I would like okay. to, to yes. get the the test file. Okay. Uh, so the, the PDAP that we are currently using has a lot of um, writers, um, like the writers.last that you have been using, and then the writers.gdal that you have been using to write the um, the TIFF files. Um, get, getting the CSV, it, it, it has um, writers.text as well. So I think maybe you can get text with the writers.text, but, but I've not tried that one out, so I'm not entirely sure. But I'm not sure you can like convert directly a, a, a point cloud data into a CSV file, right? So I, I wouldn't advise it because it's point cloud. There are some there are, there are some elements that are, might be missing there when you like convert to um, a CSV or t, uh, you know TXT file. So you, it's better you like get the last file and the TIFF file and then you explore that by visualizing them and then looking at the um, information that it's contained therein and then you extract the most important ones and then you can place that as a CSV file, uh, either by getting a GeoPandas um, data frame 
or a pandas data for it. Um, I, th I think Deborah is also facing the same issue as um, Nat now to say. So if you um, if the update works, uh, I think um, Deborah you can reach out to uh, Nat now to like guide you. Or if if it's if it's not working, we'll find a, a better way to make it work. It's probably because of the version as Yabibel has rightly pointed out, or something is just missing because it's actually worked and the same way works as well for many other people. So I don't know why. Yeah, um, Richard, the same question is what, um, okay. So the same question is what uh, Nat now to say is I'm um, trying to solve now. And uh, are you, uh, Richard, are you working on your local or you're working on so, AWS? So maybe, maybe just gonna say, can you send, can you attach your uh, JSON file? And then I can test it in the AWS one. It should just work, right? So then we will know. So that's how we, we we can debug. Just attach your JSON, and then one of us can run. Um... Okay. So the JSON file is mainly found on this uh, uh, link I've sent. So... Yeah. No. I mean, I, I have that. I've tried that, and it okay. works. So the only thing is, I'm just thinking when you copy paste or something that you have some issue. Because that one, I, I used it, and I am it works. So maybe another way to do it is can you, um, yeah, it's like what could send, be, ah. send yours to RocketChat, like send me your own, the one you copied. Okay. It's actually just, uh, no, no, actually there's another way, simple way, just sorry. Okay. Um, because the, they have a list file. So can you do this? Can you? So you can do this, delegate that, and then um, so what is the quality down? So if you just both of, both of you like uh, like whoever has that error, can you just copy paste what I what I just said? It's like the entire thing in your terminal, and can you do that? Like, can someone share the screen? For example, Nathanael or um, Rachel or anyone. Uh, yes, I okay. can do that. Yeah, okay, I'm okay. gonna share my screen and copy paste it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I have selected everything. Everything and exactly. And copy. Then and then copy terminal. My okay. Yeah. I need to create so wherever wherever it is wherever you have it done basically. Okay, so uh, I need from the active uh, uh, Okay, so I need to make it there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna paste it in there. Uh, so the problem is you don't have to duplicate. So I found another method that should be like to copy paste it. There is yeah, yeah, but it's like I, I just want to know that if it works exactly that way. So yeah. um, it, I guess. so what do you have? Like, how do you download from the web? Okay, like currently, this is an extension I have in the door. I no, no, just like copy in a terminal. I just want in a terminal. So okay, so can you go to basically uh, AWS? Just let's try it there. Okay, and the, on the browser, okay. So this no, no, like, exactly, that's your terminal, right? Okay. The AWS. Yeah, is so, there, so, 
Kona Actates or Kona in the list. Shall I type it? Yeah. In uh, Kona space in list. No, I don't know which which uh, environment it is. Okay, so that is so that is PDAL version, and you check just PDAL dash dash version. Okay, so can you then exactly copy like paste? Sorry. This one? Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of working. I mean, the, it's a double gate, but yeah, it's working. Like, and then you will, you should be able to get. Uh, but yeah, it's working. It's working. Uh, it is working on the AWS. So is it going to say the the uh, JSON file in here? Yeah, the, I mean the dot last file. Dot las. Okay. okay. If you ls now, just ls. Okay. Yeah, so you have those Iowa mm -hmm. JSON and uh, Iowa as. I see, I see. So, so it's like what I'm saying is it works that way. So wherever you have a problem, it, it basically like maybe when you copy something, like the, the main problem about non-terminal non, non things in JSON is that they might add some characters, some things like that. And then I don't know if, the, but this one, wgate or anything, that you just download from a terminal, you know, it's it doesn't. It's like a normal text. It doesn't add anything. So maybe just I, I, it it could be now. What you could try is that. So go back to your terminal, to your another terminal, to your computer. Where you were? I think maybe you maybe. And you can copy Iowa dot JSON from here to your computer. So go go to go to your terminal. So maybe he's frozen. Look, like better that you can go on. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm having the same issue with uh, what they have been saying. And I try to follow your steps and now uh, it showed me when I left. Let me share my screen and yeah. I didn't install on my local version. I was just working on the place. And then yesterday, when I tried to run it, uh, it showed me like this here. Can you see it now? Yeah, but that's that's not yeah, that's like one. <laughs> Uh, I didn't see, I didn't ls, and I, I'm, I'm, I was not able to see in the directory spot. And uh, yeah, uh, like the whole day yesterday, I was trying to figure out this one. And now I was trying to ask him, when ls it shows me in here now. Yeah. So is, is, is this not an error? Sorry? Is this, did, does, is it not an error? It says reported an error, something like that. Yeah, but that's just so. If you just uh, control L now, just control L. Control L. Okay. So then L A L H. So no, it's like L A space a dash L H. Yeah. So you would see if it has. So yeah, it, it's six point seven megabyte. It's exactly the same that we were expecting, right? Okay. So like I was trying to. So uh, I was trying to do it on uh, also the the one that you have given us, like CD data. Yeah. Uh, so I think the reason why it was not showing in your uh, in the other one is because I think you have probably if you do TWD, like what what do you get? The current directory we are. You see, you, uh, are you on all notebooks? Barakat Kabu while they different. Okay. Let me. So. No, I, no, I can see this one. So, like, this one, the other one I was working Yeah. But I, I try to get the JSON data using this one. Yeah, I mean, it should yeah. work. I mean, in principle, all your ways of getting the JSON data should work. It's just that it's okay. like, I think I'm saying I don't know what happens. Like, and the sanity yeah. basically is usually to use the least 
complex method, which is terminal. Yeah. And so always, you know, for anyone working in this field, the three things I would always give as a, as a basically mandatory, know how to, how to edit on a terminal, never use like at least no either VI or Emacs or Nano or something that you will use to edit on a terminal. Because you will always have a situation where you, you, you will not have graphics and you need to edit it on a terminal. So no, learn one of them, like have a basic knowledge, one of them, um, Emacs or something, right? And then know how to get like how to get an SSH and get something, copy that R -S 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 or something, or Python scripts that you write, Python something, right? And and the other one basically is uh, know how to use a screen. Screen is basically like if you are running on a, on a remote something, you want it to run in full screen. So the three things usually will make your life so easy because the your computer and your remote work becomes identical. It's like in a way that you will have the same freedom. The reason why you enjoy your computer is because you have freedom, because you, you see it, you interact with it. And it must be the same. You must have the same feeling or you must be comfortable also on the remote as, as that, within that way. And to have, to be comfortable means to be able to open file, edit file in a terminal. So just this are my very... Okay. Okay. So so are you then yeah, I'm is done. everything clear? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. so uh, Jacinda? Uh, I've been having uh, an issue with, uh, with uh, uh, what's this? With the ES, e EPSG uh, number when I'm trying to get the, when I'm trying to get my, my file. Initially, I had that, the pre-projection error, but uh, I, I found a way around it. I tried to install the uh, GDAL and uh, it kind of worked. So uh, I, um, I, I moved from that error that everyone was getting to to this. It's telling me that uh, could not uh, could not import coordinate system. So I tried playing around with the coordinates, but uh, with the with the SR, SRC, but still I'm not getting I'm not getting anything. It's saying a known reason. So I think what is, uh, if you are using, um, yeah, because I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's very hard for me, for me to know what is basic, basically it's just data. You are missing and maybe matching between PIP and conduct. But it's it's like Conda just appeared you on the um, like Gita or something. If you are using it, like the same, uh, so that you get because it, when you install Gita, you would they create many of the projections that you are installing. It doesn't have it, it should be that simple. But you know, package management is. It's not that easy. So you have to sometimes you have to create a, an environment clean and install some of these files like according to what is specified. So a new environment exactly following that, the like install just only G PDAL and then check it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just yeah, be smart about it. Don't spend more time than necessary. Like and have this basic principle. If it works somewhere, it must work on me. What is it that's different? Instead of trying to fix something uh, blindly. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, with this one, like you would be able to, like if you install GDAL, for example. I mean, as a bracket, uh, whoever showed us then it's, it's like you would not see what you call the projection error. Okay, so Abu Bakr to you, and I think Kuban is. Yeah, um, I have, uh, I'm facing an issue when I try to push my code to GitHub. I, I was pushing it and then all of a sudden I'm having this issue. So I don't know like how you can 
I think I can, let me send the issue on the, on the chat. Uh, is it the, the error you're getting is the one you pasted on the chat here? Yeah, yeah. Um, did you use, are you um, um, or pushing via password, like you enter your password before you push? No, uh, I'm using the token. The tokens, okay. You might have to like um, regenerate the tokens before it actually works. I'll have to generate another token. Yeah, the, the thing is, um, GitHub recently updates their um, security thing, I think um, August 13 or so, and then they've changed some of yeah. these things, and then the personal access token that you have before uh, needs to be changed, or you like SSH into your GitHub instance, so you need to like regenerate a new one, and that would enable you to like push. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Rachel, you seem to be having. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, Rio, um, what are, what are the issues you have? Can you share your screen now? He's not okay, doing it. Uh, I said that we have to work with the Tamino on AWS, but uh, I'm trying to work from there but they don't learn for example uh i'm asking about the uh installing do we have to install pdl from the terminal aws uh, if you create a contact environment like a virtual environment as you have as, uh, as you said then you have to, like install all these things there before you can actually use them and then you can install them from the um, terminal or from your uh, from your Jupyter notebook using the um, exclamation conda install. Uh, I mean, from AWS. It, it, it is, it, in it, if you share screen, it's probably installed already by Kevin. So if you share your screen. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen now? It's coming, yeah. So if you just oh, no. go and say PDA version, just to see if you have PDA. Dash, dash, like uh, add uh, two dashes in front. Yeah, okay. version. Yeah, so you have PDA, right? So that's good. So that means you can just basically copy and paste what I No, 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 no installation. You, you no, can no, copy and the one yeah. in the... Okay, okay. From the okay. chats like that, that I, I sent, like you could just, or like, or already because you have also Iowa there. It's like if you, if you LS, LS. Okay, you don't. So may, may just copy from the terminal, you know, like from, not from the Google Meet that from we were Google just Meet chat. chat. Like this, the W, not that one, like the duplicate. Yeah, this one. like, no, no, the one, yeah. Yeah, this the one. whole thing. No, no, not click. The, the right. whole thing. This one. No, not click, but just go and copy. Oh. Copy the whole thing, W gate from, no, 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 not only that, just the whole thing. W gate from starting, no. no. Don't click on it. It's a copy the the text the whole text that I I, I sent. It's like select it exactly. Like exactly. this. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, do I have to paste exactly. here? Yeah. then you should have the data now. But just also while you are there, let's just install. Um, yeah, or upgrade, so I, I don't know which one. It's a PDF. So, okay, now if you LS, you, you get it. 
like the file survey. See, like Iowa LAS and Iowa T is there. But like just to remove that, that one, so can we do uh, a peep? P? Yeah, PIP. Okay, yeah. Uh, in, in install, there's like space install PDA. Then, uh, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, go, go up, then upgrade, like so uh, space dash dash upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Yeah. Okay. okay, so then uh, pip install gita. Gita. Gita, instead of pita, gita. Yes. Okay, now can you scroll uh, like, like with your arrow key up to the w, to the previous command? Keep pressing. The next one, keep pressing. Again? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now can you enter this? Yes? Yeah, yes. So yeah, we have to fix our. Um, yeah, that's what uh, checking the same. Yeah. I think this is uh, given it is here. Just fix it. I think somehow it's, okay. it shouldn't happen. Okay. My thinking is that that error was like maybe the reprojections and the band that are trying to reproject to is out of band for what they are specifying it. But it, it works for you without any error. So. Okay. It's it's not that it's just a, a mismatch. Uh, not now to say you have a question gdan failure projection okay okay hi and uh, but i installed i, I installed i installed the pdan from conda that's probably the, the like as as specified in the uh excuse the, me sir yeah when uh when i got this error yeah. when i got the error that error we uh discussed with uh, abu Bakr and uh, in the JSON file, we we commented out the reproject the reprojection part, and it works without the error. But now I think uh, we have if it works without the error, then you have to reproject it using uh, GeoPandas. Yeah, that's a good fix. Um, but also, I think it worked for a version that was. It must be that yeah, that's configuration file that JSON was written for an older version, maybe. And it worked for me without a problem because I installed it um, from Honda. But as you said, it may be just for old version because what you have now is a very latest version. So it must be due to that conflict. So yeah, commenting it out and uh, share your solution then. Uh, okay, guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, my terminal Python version is like 2.7. Oh, so won't it affect the work? Like when I try to absolutely, I think I think that was make sure peep, which peep are you using? It should be just the environment peep that you should be using. I'm trying to use it like uh, I'm on the AWS yeah. right now, so I have cloned my project. Shall I share my screen? Yeah, share your screen, but I mean, if it is. If you change, once you activate, I think Python should point to yeah, share your screen, and it should point okay. to the environment, which is not a point. Okay, so can you see my screen? Yeah. So if you say okay. which pipe, which peep? Okay, first let's check Python version. So, let's say Python 
yeah so but python 3 should be uh, different right yeah it should be python 3 so i think i can i get it further which version is this like and i activated the yeah. content the, the pip is exactly so pip is from the 3.9 so if you are in a small yeah, anything right it should just be it, you just have to alias exactly maybe don't use Python. It seems like Python is not, uh, yeah, it's used by Python 3. If you just say Python okay. 3. Python 3. That version, I think it should just be. Three point, yeah. uh, since this, it says uh, the PIP 2.9 and this 3.7. So the problem I have yeah, is like, uh, I have a, File a Python script I wrote. So when I say uh, Python, uh, first I run with Python, then. Yeah, no, Python don't run. Let, let, let's forget. Let, let's not do anything okay, with, so with 2.7. So it's a complete failure. It doesn't work. So this is the file I want to run, which populates the yeah. JSON file and everything. So. Okay, so, no module name PDLC. Because you are you are you haven't activated it. Is that shall I activate the conda? But it is activated since it says based yeah, on exactly. No, no. Um it's just says, it so PDAN, if you just import PDAN. Yeah. Okay. Um is this is PDAL installed here? You have tried it before, right? So PDAL version. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh which PDAL? So can it just which PDA? Okay. W H C yeah. No, without I, no. Without I, okay. Yeah, of course. WCH this. We you know which which, which is fine, but PDAL is which sorry. Come on. Okay, so the PDA that you are using is coming from exactly the point which is good yeah. um i think he activated the no he didn't wait right so maybe maybe what you could do is create an environment and install pita and run that because it seems okay so i should create a conda environment yeah. with the python version then you yeah. start so uh, exactly PDA. i think it's like if you install uh, create that will simplify your life and you can okay i will yeah. try to do that okay okay thank you it was very helpful today actually. i liked it great when, when you are reading the uh, virtual environment make sure you specify the python version to use so that you don't have the you know, inst uh, problem installation again so you can specify python 3.9 this is installed yeah when i create the new environment hmm. yeah okay i will i will do that thank you Okay. Um, I think any other questions before we call it this session? Okay. Michael. Right, Michael. Michael. Okay. Um, if you have um, any other questions, I think we'll... so. Like actually, for Nanaya, you uh, just again back with your screen share. Sorry, Michael. Is Nanaya here still? Yes, he's here. Yes, I'm here. I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Yes, so uh, you just basically uh, do this. Credential. Also log into AWS. Uh, I'm trying to log in. It's not working. And I, I think I'm using last, um, the four uh, green force um, credentials. I don't know if it has changed. What, what is my code? Sorry, I will do. I think it's been deleted. Okay. Hello? We can now. Yeah.
So in LinkedIn, can you can you copy what I like install Python Python that Python PDA from no I, I shared it if you want I shared it in the text. So Michael, you are very delayed. So I don't know what you're maybe typing. You're gone. Yeah, go. Okay. Um, hmm. so the, the better way I think of it right now is like uh, first create a conda environment, yeah. new conda environment with so Python cool. version yeah. I want, and maybe try to you know, install. Uh, yeah, exactly. But if you if you do the same thing, okay, go go do do that again, and then user specify user like dash dash user. Uh, where in the space form? dash dash no, no space dash dash user after a date. No, do the same what you were doing. Space. Okay. Space. Dash dash user. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay, so it didn't recognize it or something? Maybe. Then Kevin, like contact Kevin just in case you have some permission issue. Okay, I will. Okay. Um, so for the permission issues, um, uh, contact Kevin for that. He will help you resolve. Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's basically because you don't have the permissions to that. I think yeah, creating the virtual environment should create that particular permission. But if you have any other package, you can let me know and I'll install it for you guys. Um, and I mean, my make, call, sure, make sure make sure you, you test it just so that people can work for all of them and so yeah, if okay. you should, uh, like just taste exactly this part where pedal should work without error um the the we get one right yeah exactly if you could just taste that one that would be great. cool but uh, other people just create your environment and, um, and, and work on that um the people who have in that particular problem can you tell me your group um, just message me with which particular group you are in. I think it seems for all of them. Like it, it seems to all groups. So maybe just we can go log in each by and uh, nice. update, go, go, update go. the package. I think it's a package thing. So if it works for one, it should work for all of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. I think we are. If you, um, Zalala, if you create a Conda environment in an AWS, I think you can just activate Conda activate the name of the um, virtual environment. Are you not allowed to do that? I, th I think I think probably you have. Um, and permission to create to create the system. Kevin? Uh can I speak? Yes, please. Right. I'm sure. Okay. I can't even get into the base the normal conduct bit. Just normally locally when they conduct it, it takes you to the base on the environment, yes? Yes. In or locally. When I try on the AWS, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll do the, even the one that I saw. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's what I, I see. Fast. He cannot do that, right? It's like it normally, if is installed, there's a base one, yes. Mm -hmm. That one says the base. I couldn't get into that environment even. That's what I'm asking. So I think for that one, you could always just do this. Uh, Honda with a, you know where it's installed, it's opt. Honda. And then B. 
Um, and I think it's, it's yeah, so it's going down. You do this. It should work. Specify the path. And then when you do that, it will write on your home directory. So, and then after that, you can just say source and actions. And it should just be working. If you type that right now, it should work. Uh, should I type the source one first? No, no, the first, uh, first one, then the second one. So first is just init bash and then source. Does it work? It shouldn't take that long. Yes, yes, now it works. Thank you. Um, I, th I think that, uh, that's it, we'll call it a wrap. And then any other questions, we'll, uh, we'll receive them on the chat and we'll provide um, answers to them as it comes. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. Thank you, everyone, and uh, we'll see you on the chat.